Welcome to the Big Picture Add-in, the newest member of the Palisade Decision Tools suite of add-ins for Microsoft Excel. This video will get you started using Big Picture. It will explain why you might want to create maps with Big Picture, and it will lead you through the steps of creating simple maps with Big Picture. Later videos in this series will then illustrate the wide range of Big Picture tools. The term map has come to mean a graphical representation of a situation or problem. Often the problem includes a decision-making aspect, such as deciding whether to drill for oil, deciding which features to add to a software product, deciding which advertising strategy to use for marketing a new product, and countless others. Many problems such as these are ultimately modeled mathematically and then solved with powerful software. Indeed, this is the purpose of other add-ins in Palisade's Decision Tools suite, such as At Risk, Precision Tree, and Evolver. However, at the early stages, or even at the later stages, of the decision-making process, a graphical representation of the problem, showing the various elements of the problem and the relationships between them, can be very useful for conceptualizing or brainstorming. This is the role of Big Picture. The conceptual maps discussed here are certainly not new. They have been used in the corporate world for years, and there are several software packages that implement them in various ways. However, the advantage of using Big Picture, and it is a huge advantage, is that it is totally integrated into Microsoft Excel. This actually provides two advantages. First, virtually everyone in today's workplace has access to Excel and knows, at least to some degree, how to use many of its powerful features. So when you use Big Picture, you are working in an environment where you are already comfortable. Second, Big Picture, unlike other standalone mapping software packages, can take advantage of Excel's tools. For example, it can link to Excel formulas that reside in the same workbook as the map itself. Or as another example, Big Picture maps, which are based upon shapes, can take advantage of Excel's many shape tools. Actually, there is a third advantage, which is discussed in detail in other videos in this series. Big Picture can do much more than just create attractive graphical maps. Because it is an Excel add-in, it can be used to perform powerful data analysis, much like Excel's pivot tables, and then display the results graphically in maps. Big Picture offers three types of maps for data analysis. Data maps, linked maps, and org charts. There is a companion video for each of these, and you should eventually check them out. For now, it suffices to say that no other mapping software approaches this functionality. Enough introduction. Let's see how Big Picture works. To get started, you load the Big Picture add-in just like you add any of the other Palisade add-ins. You launch Excel and then launch Big Picture from the list of Windows programs in the Palisade group. Alternatively, if you launch Big Picture before Excel is open, this opens Excel and Big Picture. In either case, you will know that Big Picture is loaded when you see the Big Picture tab and ribbon, as you see here. So what exactly is a map? Essentially, it is a collection of shapes connected with arrows. More precisely, using Big Picture's terminology, it is a collection of topics related with connectors. A topic is simply a shape, such as a rectangle, that contains textual or numeric information. Connectors, or arrows, are then used to relate the topics in a map in some conceptual way. Obviously, this definition is somewhat vague, but this is done purposely to allow maps of various configurations for use in various contexts. In short, Big Picture provides an extremely high level of flexibility for the types of maps you can create. Big Picture maps are of two basic types. Essentially, there are either highly structured maps that follow a set pattern, or they are freeform maps that follow any pattern you like. It all depends on the story you are trying to tell with your map. To get started, I will create a simple structured map that might be used to provide information on the countries where your company does business. 
I will start by creating an All Countries topic. This is an Excel shape, but with extra functionality. For now, I will type a label inside it. Because this will be a structured map, I will turn on two of Big Picture's buttons, Auto Arrange and Single Expand. You will see the effects of these shortly. When I hover the mouse over this topic, you can see red squares on the top, bottom, and sides. These are used for connecting to other topics. In fact, if I drag from one of these red squares, I automatically get a new topic and an associated connector. I will create three new topics for Europe, South America, and Asia and label them. Here you have seen the effect of Auto Arrange. The new topics are arranged automatically in a nice symmetric way. You see another feature if I hover the mouse over the original topic. The red circled X lets me collapse all topics and connectors emanating from that topic. Then the green circled plus sign lets me expand them. These Collapse and Expand buttons are always available. For each of these new topics, I can then create country topics in the same way. I'll create a few. Now you can see the effect of the Single Expand option. I will collapse the South America and Asia sections so that only Europe is expanded. Then I will expand South America. When I do so, Europe collapses. This wouldn't happen if Single Expand were turned off. You can decide whether you want to use this feature, but it definitely reduces clutter and it allows you to focus on one section of the map at a time. Here is another very useful feature of Big Picture not found in other mapping software. I could type information about any country into its topic, but suppose I have information about the countries in some Excel range. In fact, this information might even be the result of complex calculations with Excel formulas. Instead of typing the information into the topic, I can create an Excel link. I'll do so for Europe. To do this, I right-click the topic to get a Big Picture shortcut menu. I select Label, and I drag the appropriate range, which can be a multiple cell range. I'll do it for France and Germany. I'll select Labels and Data. Labels and Data. These cell links are live. If the data in the cells change, the information in the map changes automatically. As explained in more detail in another video in this series, you can annotate topics in various ways. In the present context, it might be nice to show country flags below their topics. I can do this with built-in big picture markers. I will do this for France and Germany, again by right-clicking their topics. Before leaving this map, remember that big picture topics are really just Excel shapes with added functionality. This means that you can use Excel's shape tools to modify the topics as you like. As a simple example, 
I'll change the shape and background color of the All Countries topic. These are Excel tools. I'll make this orange and I'll make it a square rectangle. So you can fine tune existing maps in a number of ways. Now I will create a free form map where the configuration of topics and connectors is totally up to you. I will do this in the context of a company deciding how many items of a product to order in the face of uncertain demand. There are a number of relationships in this problem. Specifically, the number ordered and the unit cost determine the total cost of the order. The demand for the product, the number ordered, and the unit price determine the total revenue. And the total revenue and the total order cost determine profit. The goal of the map is to represent these relationships graphically. In this case, it helps to have a plan. So I have listed the elements of the problem at the top, along with a color convention I will use. Of course, you can choose any convention for distinguishing topics and their roles, but some convention definitely helps. I will first create as many new topics as is required, without worrying about positioning, and I will label and color them. Actually, after I create the first topic, I can drag it while holding down the control key to create the others. Note that I do not want auto arrange or single expand on for this map. I don't want big picture to override my decisions on how the map should look and behave. Next, I will position the topics in a logical layout, and then I will connect them, where the connectors are used to indicate what determines what. The resulting map is now useful for depicting the company's ordering decision. Of course, if the company believes that more complexity is required, it should be easy to add more topics and connectors to the current map or to attach more information to the existing topics. And of course, the shapes of the topics can be changed, they can be rearranged slightly, and so on. In summary, you should now have some sense of the capabilities and power of Big Picture for creating useful maps. First, you can build an unlimited variety of maps, ranging from highly structured, symmetric maps to totally freeform maps. Second, you do all of this within Excel, so you can use many of Excel's tools, as well as Big Picture's tools, to enhance your maps. From here, you can go in two directions. First, you can open Big Picture and experiment on your own. Second, you can view the other videos in this series to learn about the various big picture tools. Before long, you will be an expert at creating useful, attractive, and information-packed maps.